Not all of Osaka's homeless are living on the streets. A few have settled down in the shadow of the city's greatest monument, Osaka Castle, prime real estate. It's a true tent city and looks surprisingly permanent. These tenants clearly value their privacy. Others have put up gates and decorated to their own taste. But everybody keeps their front yard carefully swept clean. Tamangasaki Park, on the other hand, is just an ugly patch of dirt. So why is it so popular? Twice a week, anyone who shows up gets a free hot meal. It's a welcome break. In winter, Osaka gets cold. The food is donated by local markets once it's too old to sell. Nevertheless, quail eggs, radish, carrot, cabbage, leafy greens. It's a healthy change from their daily diet of instant noodles. Unlike most charities I've worked with, it's the homeless themselves that organize and do the work. But mostly, everyone knows how to stretch a meal. The moment we've all been waiting for. In Japan, no matter what your circumstances, if there's no rice, it's not a meal. There are over a thousand people waiting, and a few have even brought along a friend. So when it's time to serve, I know they can use a hand. Whether Japan is willing to admit to it or not, it has a homeless problem. It's mostly older men. They tell me that when women are in trouble, they go back to their families, but the men, they're too ashamed. If you lose your job in Japan, you don't often get another chance. Normally when the rice runs out, the kitchen's closed, but today I'm told to stick around. It's January 2nd and they're making mochi, pounded rice balls, a traditional New Year's treat. <laughs> and later on, when it gets dark, there'll even be a band. The organizers want everyone to be here for a protest march at 8. And the police are waiting for us. The demonstration is in memory of a homeless man who was recently kicked to death by a pack of roving youth. It's a growing problem. Because of the poor economy, young people are frustrated and out of work. Though at the moment, the police seem more concerned with us. Suddenly, we run smack into a roadblock. The police don't want us marching through town. But the homeless don't believe in violence. And in the end, we go around. As we near the murder site, their dedication grows. While the police take careful note, and the marchers try to talk them around. Then everybody gets a flower, even if they're not involved. To most Japanese, the homeless are invisible, or at best, ignored. But at least tonight, this man, who lived in obscurity, is remembered by his friends.